Hey, cats, good morning to you. Sunday morning. Uh, today we are going to touch on the bed riddance with Bins regime and what appears to be a huge UFO problem. <laughs> All right. But uh, you know the deal you want to hear? Here you go. She's steady asking me if my soul is safe. Yeah, it's in the deep freeze and it's gonna stay that way. I don't give a fuck if you're mad, you can die, man. I don't give a fuck. Good morning, deplorable savages. Welcome in. Thanks for coming as always. Appreciate the stop. Like I said, we're touching on the bed riddance regime here and the ineptitude and their portrayal of complete weakness and now going into uh, fantastical old stories. <laughs> right? So um, the world, I'm sure, is aware of last week's balloon debacle as the regime let it traverse the continental United States and took no action until it made it off the coast of the Carolinas, then had to sweep the ocean floor for the tech. Uh, the only thing that really came out of it at that point was uh, they, they came out and verified the fact that it was equipped with listening devices. Um, I'm sure surveillance just for uh, China's history of purchasing up America here uh, through farmlands, manufacturing and whatnot, uh, uh, you know, trying to locate strategic purchase points, no doubt in my mind. Uh, you know, and uh, they hid it until they couldn't when it was hovering over this, the nuclear silo area in old Montana and it was caught on cell phones and posted. So again, they couldn't hide it any longer. All right. Uh, and, uh, you know, they, they took us through a little jaunt uh, and deep cover just on that one alone. Um, like I said, they knew about it before it made it to continental airspace, hit it until they couldn't hide it any longer. Then then they shifted to, well, we can't shoot it down because it's falling debris out in the farmlands. Um, then it went, obviously, again, to uh, shooting it off of the coast of the country. So mission accomplished. Then take action. Then it went down to um, the, the, the Trump admin had him as well. Then it shifted to the Trump admin had it as well, but they didn't know about it because it was hidden by the upper brass. In other words, implicating people in treasonous acts, right, to make the, the, the Beden regime look a little bit better. Um, to now... <laughs> resorting to referring to them as UFOs, as plenty of you have seen, two more shot down, one over Alaska, one over Canada, right, Alaska, American airspace, but a little something disturbing in the article about the one shot down in Canada was, uh, at the order of Justin Trudeau, American F-22 shoots down object, right, what the hell is Justin Trudeau doing or ordering anything that's got to do with American fighters? And then it appears that the Cuban Hobbit can run things better than the lizard carcass that we have, which is damn sad because for years I've, I've considered that guy the weakest leader on the planet, but bedridden here is um, in the utmost uh, hurry to take that crown, right? Um, so, uh... You know, they, they have done nothing but run cover, and now again, it being called UFOs, absolutely ridiculous. Some of you may remember back during the uh, COVID lockdowns, they quietly, me, the media and the military complex uh, released you know, some, some words basically saying that UFOs are real, right? At the time, it was like, are these guys fucking with us, or is this, you know, a distraction? Well, here it is, right? Now they can refer to it as UFOs. And apparently they they think that that doesn't make them look as bad, right? It doesn't look as you know as inept. Um, and you can't say it was uh, to uh, you know stop widespread panic or anything for you know a UFO for the vast majority of the populace on the entire planet. What comes to mind when you hear the term UFO? Exactly, you know what I mean. But it's not like the state doesn't want its people in a, a, a perpetual fear. Hence the, you know, C-19, the white supremacies, the hate speeches, the, we're going to put you all back in chains and, you know, yada, yada. That, that's, you know, that, that's perpetual fear. But they only want the fear stemming from subjects that they can cast the illusion of, of you know, the state aid umbrella. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because uh, that's how they get people to clamor to give up their rights and freedoms. Okay? So if they were to tell you, we're about to have a double-edged World War Three here with the other two superpowers on the globe, and we've already depleted munitions and energy, and debased the currency. 
You know what I mean? People aren't going to give up their freedoms then. You're definitely going to try to hoard, and definitely you're going to clutch that weapon a little tighter. You know what I mean? So um, it's definitely about cover for the regime and control as usual. Um, you know, there's just no fear anymore, obviously, with uh, these other countries have really, uh, uh, you know, took some liberties here. You know, to uh, you know, to to do shit that if there was a different commander in chief, or if we were in a different mental paradigm in this country, would not have happened. You know what I mean? We got woke generals and shit. I mean, we have you know CRT and gender equalities and axe gashes paid for by uh, you know the taxpayer in our military. And um, you know, previously I did a video showing uh, the recruitment tactics. For the USA versus, uh, you know, China and, and, and Russia, while China and Russia are recruiting men and building killing machines, we're trying to recruit strong women and uh, LGBTQ poop emoji fucking activists. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, so uh, as, as, as they destroy the country, so too they will the planet. All right? All in the name of saving the planet. <laughs> fucking losers man so uh i'm gonna end it on that note as usual keep voting leftists and uh watch your world be destroyed all right like share subscribe come over to bit shoot last bastion of free speech on the inner zones as far as streaming's concerned right debate me in the comments argue tell me to fuck off smell you later